and welcome to this video lesson from Mac Tower Tutoring. Today we are going to look at a great tune called The Banshee. Uh, to start with I'll play it up to speed for you, you can have a listen and then we'll slow it down and have a go. So that is the Banshee. It's a real in G major. Um, if you've not heard it before, then I recommend listening through just a few times before you go into the next part of the video of having to learn it, because it really helps to have the song in your head before you try and work out the notes. Um, because it's in G, then it's always good to start with the scale that you're going to play in to kind of warn your fingers what notes they're going to need to do. And there's no sneaky grace notes in this. So that's always nice. Um, so let's have a go at the G major scale. play the first half nice and slowly and um, I'll play it through once with single bows to help you hear the notes to have a go. Uh, remember you can rewind the video and play this bit as many times as you need until you feel comfortable to move on to the next part. Okay so this is the A part nice and slow. probably notice the first and the second lines there um, are almost an exact repeat of themselves, uh, just a slightly different ending. That's always nice when you're learning a new tune. Um, so keep having a go at that. Once you feel comfortable at that speed, then watch the next part of the video where we're going to look at the B part. noticed a slightly syncopated part in the first line there um, that will become much more obvious as we speed it up so keep an eye on that and remember you can rewind the video and keep doing this until you feel comfortable at this speed because next we're going to play the A part and the B part together twice each still not quite up to speed um, but because we're increasing the speed slightly we're going to try some slurs 
Um, Alpert and the slurs I think are helpful for me playing, of course it might be slightly different, you might prefer something different, that's up to you. Yeah, this is the A part and the B part, slightly faster with some slurs. <laughs> tune really well done for getting to the whole tune folks I'm sure it's all sounding great the last thing of course especially when you're looking at folk music uh, to add in the grace notes um, obviously grace notes are quite a personal thing but I will show you some that I like and you can try these or feel free to find your own if you prefer to do that um, the first thing is obviously the tunes in G so your G string actually drones really nicely through the whole of the first half almost. Um, you can either try doing uh, just the occasional hitting the G note and making it ring out or you can play it the whole way through, it's up to you. I'll show, give you a quick demonstration of both. So first I'll just play the first line um, with just a bit of G. <laughs> prefer lots of double stopping you can go um, you can also double stop in the second half with the A string um, as you especially as you go up to those high A's it sounds nice to have the A drone underneath another thing which is really nice to add into this song and any song really um, throughout there's a lot of notes where you've got the same note next to each other twice so it's quite nice to break those up with either a cut which is where you just hit with a note above so you go, or a roll um, so for example at the end of the first line in the first half instead of lots of single notes and it just uh, adds a bit of variety so you can go through the entire tune there's a lot of places where you can add in the cut just to break up those two notes and it already sounds a lot more lively and um, so that's something for you to try once you've got to grasps with the whole tune um, and I think that will be else for today we've covered a lot so well done and thank you very much for watching if you've got any comments or questions then let us know in the comments section below and if you'd like a one-to-one -one lesson at any point, then please get in touch. Thank you.